is Dr. Jeff Morrow. I'm a, I teach theology at Immaculate Conception Seminary School of Theology at Seton Hall University in New Jersey. And when we think about the harvest, we should be thinking about evangelization. Okay? And evangelization focused not simply on helping others to know Christ, but to fall in love with Christ, to get to know Him better, and for them to also become new evangelizers. That's a really important part of what we do. And so formation is essential. We have to learn more about our faith in order to help bring it to others because you can't give what you don't have. Right? Our Lord tells us that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And He asks us to go out into the harvest and work as laborers in the harvest. And it's important when we think about this as well to not get discouraged because we can often, you know, I'm not seeing people enter the Catholic Church. I'm not seeing people, uh, I'm not seeing their lives changed. Okay, we get very discouraged. But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that we follow our Lord, that we obey Him, and that we go out there into the harvest, specifically sharing what God has done in our lives and helping them to see what He can do in theirs as well. So we have to kind of present a, an attractive um, view of, of this relationship with God that, that we have ourselves. And when we do that, we can help them to know God, uh, and particularly through prayer, through Scripture, through the sacraments, especially confession in the Eucharist, which we can receive multiple times in our lives, hopefully frequently. Uh, so that's very important. So we got to go out. We can't just hold Christ in our heart. If we really do hold Christ in our heart, that will overflow in our relationships with others. And it'll make it attractive that, to them as well. St. John Paul II, John Paul the Great said that the, the, that it's not enough to know Christ. We must bring Christ to others. The whole world is a great mission land, even in countries of long-standing Christian tradition. So we have to take the Holy Father, St. John Paul II's words seriously. If we claim to know Christ, that implies that we're concerned for the others. We have to do the work of the harvest, and God will repay us richly, abundantly. And we will see people, right, people's lives changed. But we won't be able to do that if we don't speak about Christ and what He's doing in our lives.